Hey everyone, this is Alex Sheen, founder of Because I Said I Would, and I want to talk about what happened yesterday. Uh, yesterday was my eighth anniversary of becoming an employee at the charity. I was actually the third employee ever hired. You see, I hired a part-time person, a full-time person before me. I, yes, quit my job and, and joined this charity, was working full-time, but as a volunteer. I knew that the sacrifices I was willing to make to, to make this organization survive I couldn't expect that from every, everyone else. So I hired two people before me and I eventually became the third employee. And I think it's fitting that I became an employee on January 1st, a time where people make a lot of promises, the new year's resolution. And that could be a, a promise to your physical health, to your mental health. But you've seen the stories uh, over the years of these promise cards. They get quite serious. It reminds me of one that I decided to put on the back of it because I said I would book uh, I promise to finally break free from my abusive husband. I have had the opportunity to speak personally to thousands of you as supporters and what it takes to keep a promise. And that's why we created a new program. It's a six-week online program called Resiliency Training. This per personal development program focuses on the habits and tactics that it takes to, to keep a promise, whether that's understanding limiting beliefs, the four types of self-control, time management, best practices, you know, Keeping commitments, it's not an easy thing to do. If it was, everybody would do it, right? So we created this program, and it's funded by our donors. If you're interested in joining us on January 10th, go to becauseisaidiwood.org slash resiliency training. Use the code 2022HOPE, 2022HOPE. That code uh, will put your application in for one of those grants and will we'll zero out the price as you uh, are, are registering. We really want to help people keep their commitments after the last two years have been so tough. Uh, we hope that these workshops, our accountability team meetings, the encouragement and support that you can receive in this program, we hope uh, that it's helpful. But if you decide not to join, don't worry. Uh, it, it's not for everybody. But we, regardless, are hoping only the best for you in this new year. Fight the good fight, okay? Peace.